This is called metoclopramide. This is just an antiemetic, so if you have any nausea, this will help you feel it. Hands-on training is at the core of nursing education, but with clinical hours increasingly being replaced with time in simulation labs, an effective evaluation tool is vital. Creighton University College of Nursing believes it has the solution, the Creighton Simulation Evaluation Instrument. Creighton has a strong reputation for their emphasis on clinical. So to actually take away clinical time and replace it with another experience um, was actually a little bit frightening for us as a faculty. It had to be considered just like clinical. And in order to do that, we had to be able to assess the student's performance. And Mary Tracy, an associate professor of nursing and one of the creators of the simulation evaluation instrument, says the tool was specifically designed to evaluate students at all skill levels in any nursing scenario. Typically the students are doing assessments of the patient. They're making decisions about what they think is going on with the patient based on the, what they've been told about the diagnosis. They might be administering medications, redoing assessments, uh, performing other interventions. And the beauty of the advanced simulators that we have now is, is the patient reacts to what they're doing. And so the patient can get better or the patient can get worse. The reviewing faculty member uses the simulation evaluation instrument to track student performance in four categories, assessment, communication, critical thinking, and technical skills, further split into 22 behaviors. Do they wash their hands? Do they identify the patient? Have they um, identified themselves? Do they interpret the vital signs correctly? Do they administer the medications? Do they communicate effectively with each other? Um, are they using the, the five rights of patient safety? for medication administration. Um, are they looking for the assessments that are appropriate for their patient presentation? Instructor of nursing Candace McCafferty says things don't always go as planned, but it's all part of the learning process. There are times in the simulation lab that I let them make mistakes, and I let them give the wrong medication, or I let them give the wrong dose, or I leave the IV rates running wrong, just to see if they pick up on those things, because I really feel that if we teach it to them now, they won't make the same mistakes in the future. After several years of research and successful outcomes, the simulation evaluation instrument has proven effective. So much so, it's been sought after for nursing education across the country and around the world. We've um, worked with the National Council of State Boards of Nursing who are using it for a national study. In addition, the National League for Nursing used the tool also in what they called a high stakes simulation. And then we've had requests from afar, as far away as China and Korea, and it's currently being translated into Chinese. So we're kind of excited to see how that turns out. But for Dr. Tracy and the rest of the nursing faculty, the true success of the tool is in the caliber of the nursing students they are graduating. I couldn't be more confident of the nursing students that are coming out of Creighton. And their level of preparation for the future. Many hospital systems are using simulation for competencies and also for new graduates before they are finished with their residency time. So I feel like we've just built in an added feature that makes the students even more prepared for that.